Hey guys, what's going on? So today's video um, is about my hair and <laughs> I have been getting a lot of questions and uh, just basically questions and it's kind of been a conversation starter. Um, before I got this hair color, I was blonde. Like, I'll insert a picture of the shade of blonde that my hair was. And being that I am natural, uh, I put quote unquote because my hair has been through a lot of chemicals. To me, if you're natural, is in the natural, if you're natural. <laughs> if your hair is in its natural state, that means it's not altered and it's not doing anything. But you know what? For me, it's just hair. For some people, it goes a little deeper than that. So I don't want to go into that aspect of it. But I just wanted to make this video for some people that do have natural hair and, I'm, and are wondering how I maintain my hair with color without a lot of my hair falling out and... I will say it's kind of different if you are growing your hair long, you know, you just want your natural hair. Um, me, I'm just, this is how long my hair is, let me, the rest of everything else is, you guys see that? The rest of everything else is shrinkage and actually when I wash my hair and I put the oil and conditioner in, I like to tap it down and create this nice shape and um, and I go about my business. But a lot of people always ask me how do I condition my hair, um, how do I keep it from getting really dry and all that stuff. And usually when I wash my hair I use, um, I think it's Garnier or it's in the bathroom and I don't want to get up. But I use the one that, the shampoo with the color shield, and I use the conditioner. So after I use that, I use this, this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In leave Conditioner Repair Cream. Hope you guys can see what that looks like. And after I shampoo and regular conditioner and I wash the conditioner out, I apply this and I leave it in my hair I don't rinse it out and I style and I keep it moving um, I don't do that every day I do it like twice twice a week and I just leave it in there and I had it in today and my hair is always moisturized um, I have to do that because I know I color my hair a lot and I don't want I mean I still want something on my head for now anyway um, so I don't want it breaking off I don't want it looking like really really bad and patchy I don't want that so I still take care of it as I would if I were to grow my hair out and um, I recently just bought this I don't know if you guys can see that and it's the herbal oil Ulti Africa's best ultimate herbal oil and it's, a, it's saying it's a blend of penetrating natural oils revitalizes dry thirsty hair and skin for hair bath and body and um, I think I read somewhere where it has like four or five different oils in it. I know I did, before I bought it, I did read the um, ingredients and it's all just oils. It's not like all the things on here that I cannot pronounce, I'll Google them. And there are just oils. So um, I'm really excited about that. What I do though, because I naturally have dry sensitive skin. So for stuff like that is good for me and um, after days when I wash my hair and I don't use my leave-in conditioner I use um, this I soak it in hot water for about five minutes till all of the oil inside is hot and um, I put it on my scalp I part my hair and I put it on my scalp for um, hot oil condition is that what it's called hot oil treatment yeah something like that so after I put that on my scalp I massage it on my scalp and I use a shower cap and I leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes but I always I always notice every time I do that I have some cleaning to do or I have to 
just do stuff around the house so it actually stays in longer which is fine by me so I don't have to keep monitoring it while because I'm busy doing something else so after that I just take off the shower cap and um, I just rinse it off and I don't blow dry my hair at all unless like I do that once in a blue moon I don't even remember the last time I blow dry my hair I used to do it when I went to the gym because it's like all that sweat and all that stuff so I just scrape everything off and blow dry it and then I just leave and I keep it moving but um that's basically what I use to keep my hair from keeping dry up uh, for to be moisturized and not be dry um coloring tips because I'm not growing my hair like I always let it grow a little bit and then I style it and I do I experiment with my hair or I should I have fun with my hair not experiment I have fun with my hair um when I do comb my hair though because before this like I said it was blonde like a really light it was a light blonde and before that I had um dyed it or colored it whatever you want to call it and then when I wanted to lift it I couldn't color it anymore because it was at the lightest color it could be so I bleached it to attain the blonde the lighter blonde color that I wanted and the color that I use for this is splat this. and this is in what lusty lavender you guys can see that's actually to me showing the true color it's amazing and on the back is showing all the other colors that they have but this was the only purple that I saw that I liked so it came with the purple and it, it looks like this but it was purple inside hope you guys can see that so this and this are the lightning bleach I didn't use it because my hair was already blonde if I had used that on my hair because prior to this I had bleached it like maybe a month ago if I had used that my hair would have definitely fallen out natural or not so I mean I understand I, I do have short hair but I'm not trying to be like patchy <laughs> no one wants that and um, I left it in my hair for about 30 minutes on here it says if you want to achieve I think I threw that paper away it had times for if you want your hair to be like this for um, four to six months you leave it on for 45 minutes if you only want it for like um, six to eight weeks you leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes but because I always want the most color payoff when I do stuff like this I decided to leave it on I think 45 minutes an hour and um, I just rinsed it off after but the thing with this is when you rinse it off you have to shampoo your hair you know how sometimes when you color your hair you just have to rinse the color out condition it and be about your business this is not the case you have to shampoo it off and um, I don't know if it's because I'm using oil every time I massage my scalp with the oil the color stains on my hand but when I'm washing my hair I barely get any color out I think it might be the oil stripping the color um, because like oil I don't know if anybody knows this but I'm sure plenty of people do oil removes color and it removes makeup like let's say you were out of makeup remover if you use one of those cotton pads that people the cosmetic pads that people use for their faces or even if you already have just like baby wipes if you put oil on it and you wipe it all over your face oil is a makeup remover if you didn't know that now you know but I used to before because I was scared to use any other makeup removers every time I used it my face was extra extra dry and I have dry sensitive skin already so I didn't like the way it made my face feel but now that I am using some moisturized ones and I use the Neutrogena ones and I use the NYX ones they're actually pretty amazing so um but sometimes when I just want to like I know I'm going to exfoliate I know I'm going to do a lot of oil stripping for my face I use um, 
olive oil or coconut oil I just pour it on the um, baby wipe and I wipe all over my face and it takes it completely off and I go into exfoliating and then hydrating my skin and then I moisturize but that's besides the point I just wanted to give that fun fact but um that's basically it I think for this hair um if you guys have any questions or concerns or if you have any tips for me um just let me know and uh leave it in the comment section below and i will see you guys seeing you <laughs> i will talk to you guys in my next video bye